What's up, good people? Hold on. What's up, good people? My name is AJ, and you are watching Straight Talks. Video here today I think could be really beneficial to a lot of people who are potentially studying for the CFA program or any other academic program for that matter. So go ahead and watch the whole thing. I'm going to encourage you because I think you can really get a lot out of this. It's going to closely tie to my secret to passing the CFA exams video and also the final 30 days, what to do in the final 30 days of the CFA exam video. And that is how to memorize formulas for the CFA exams or potentially other academic programs. If you're enjoying this video or any of the other content, I'll go ahead and ask you to leave a like on this one down below and also subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and I appreciate it. Now let's get into this one. First of all, I need to give credit to where it's due because I learned this entire strategy and I'm gonna talk about exactly how I implement it from Mark Meldrum. And if you're watching this video, I'm on YouTube talking about the CFA exams, I'm sure you've seen Mark Meldrum before, so you know who he is. He kind of introduced me to this strategy. It's much better than any study strategy I had used in college, especially considering a lot of the university exams didn't require memorization of a mass amount of formulas like each of the three CFA exams do. This is what Mark Meldrum taught me and then also how I spun it and how I think you can really improve your chances of passing the CFA exams if you memorize the formulas well. This is gonna be the best way I think you can memorize them. Everyone's brain works a little bit differently and you might have a better understanding of how your brain works when you're trying to memorize things than I do. So this worked really well for me, but you might have to tweak it a little bit. I think the core tenets of what I'm talking about here are gonna be helpful for almost anyone whose brain works in almost any way when they're trying to memorize certain things. If you need to adjust it to give yourself more time to maybe write, reread, or reflect on these things, go ahead and feel free to do that. The core of this, again, is really gonna be helpful for you though. I'm gonna make this a step-by-step -step guide because I think that might be most beneficial. Step one comes a little bit before the memorization process, which is make sure you have a very good list of formulas that you know includes everything that you're gonna to need to pass your upcoming CFA exam. Now, there are a few ways to do this. Uh, for me, I did it in two different ways. Uh, I studied with Wiley, so I had, I think it was their silver or gold programs for each of the levels. And in that program, they give you a formula sheet at the end of all your virtual or video lessons and, and study notes that is like 40 pages long, I think. And it shows you all the formulas that you may potentially need to have memorized to answer questions that come up on the exam. If you have one of those from Wiley or Kaplan might offer the same thing, I don't know, then that's great. I think it's too long though. And I wouldn't spend, because this process is pretty time consuming in your final week before the exam, I wouldn't want anyone to try to memorize all 40 pages of those formulas. I probably condensed it to about a third or half of what Wiley actually presented to me by what I had written down through all my studies. So that's the second part to this. The whole time that I was studying for the CFA levels and I was taking notes and also answering quiz questions at the end of each section, I would write in a really uh, dark dash line anywhere that a formula appeared that came up on a question. So I wrote a ton of formulas watching all the video lessons. Some of them I never used, but then after the video lessons, Wiley had uh, study questions, and then there was a quiz that Wiley gave you after each section. And if you listen to my CFA study process, you know that I go back and I do all the CFA curriculum blue box examples and uh, end of chapter questions. So any of those four types of questions, again, that was uh, Wiley quiz, no, Wiley practice questions, Wiley quiz, CFA blue box, CFA EOC, Anytime one of those questions required a certain formula to answer that question, I drew the big dash next to it in my study notes. So after six months or eight months of studying, I knew exactly which formulas I had used in every type of practice question that I think could potentially be presented to me. And those are the ones that I focused on memorizing at the very end of this whole thing. So you gotta have a good list of formulas, that's step one. Step number two, write each formula 20 times. This is super easy. It's really kind time consuming, but it's not difficult to do. You just have to be disciplined. And if you're this far along in studying for the CFA exams in your final week, I'm sure that you can uh, put in the effort to write every single formula that you're gonna need to memorize. I think usually I had 50 to 75 formulas depending on the level. Write each one 20 times. Your hand is gonna be killing you, but write each one 20 times. Of course, while you're writing it 20 times, don't daydream about something else and just turn it into a mind muscle memory thing you kind of want to try to be processing it in your brain as you write the formula down. After you've written the formula 20 times, close your eyes, recite the formula to yourself about five or 10 times. I think Mark Meldrum may have said do it once. I don't remember exactly what he said, but I did it more 
just to solidify it in my own brain. You know, I had it in my hand and my brain communicated it to my hand, but then I uh, internalized it. After you've done that and you're confident you have memorized that formula, go to the next one, write it 20 times. And you're gonna repeat this for anywhere from, oh, I think it would usually take me 20 to 30 hours of writing formulas and then reading them back in my own brain. But here's an important step. I would take breaks. Maybe this is step number three now. I would take breaks after every 10 formulas and cover them up and go back through and make sure that I could still recite those 10. Normally one of two of them I would have forgotten by then, even though I just written it 20 times, you know, within the last hour or two. So that just shows you that this step can be relatively important. I think I would grab a separate piece of scratch paper at this point too and rewrite the last 10 that I had from memory that I had uh, written 20 times because of course in those 20 times you're kind of looking at the last line that you wrote it on so you're not exactly going just by memory. I think this whole process usually took me two days so after I finished writing every formula 20 times and uh, at least once regurgitating it on my own onto a separate sheet of paper maybe then came the final review of these formulas. This is where you're gonna learn most about which formulas you don't remember and trust me there are gonna be a lot of them. Hopefully you've internalized like 50 to 60 percent of the formulas but this final review process, maybe you're better than me. Uh, it was pretty time consuming for me because I found that I hadn't actually memorized all that many of these formulas yet. And I would just start quizzing myself. What I would do is not make flashcards because you'd have a billion flashcards. I think flashcards are way overrated. I would just have them on the sheet of paper that I had written them on and um, have the name of that formula. So I, I titled each one like Gordon Growth Model dash write the formula. Just show myself the name of the formula or something that rates that formula and then try to recite it. Of course, the ones that you cannot recite, practice some more. Either write them out 20 more times or do the thing where you say them in your head 10 times or cheat back on it if you need to and then and then write it once on your on your secondary note sheet. You want to get to the point the day before up to the day before the exam where you can make sure that you've internalized every single formula you might need to pass. Then, the morning before the exam, I had a 2-hour drive, my wife was lovely. She always drove me to the test so I could do this specifically. This is why I wanted her to drive. I would have the uh, note pages that I wrote each formula 20 times on or just the cheat sheet I had that I had written on a second time when I was kind of making sure I learned it and do that same thing where I'm covering up the formula, just showing myself the title of that formula, but the morning before the exam, making sure that I know that formula again. And usually there's like five or 10 of them that I didn't know. On the car ride over, I practice each of them once, but then especially pound home on the ones that I had forgotten from the prior couple days and make sure that it is cemented into my brain before I step into that exam room. If you do this well, you will drastically improve your chances of passing the CFA exams or any other academic exam for that matter. I'm not gonna beat that point to death just because I've talked about it in two other videos that I kind of referenced at the beginning of this video, but it's worth saying here, now that I'm coming near the end of this one, how valuable this practice can be to your studies if you're watching this video, please take this as a little gem that you now know about that other people may not be doing because this is gonna be a big differentiator to your chances in being able to pass. You're really not trying to commit these formulas to long-term memory. I still do accidentally remember a couple of them probably to this day. The important thing is pounding them into your like medium-term memory. And I'm not an expert in how the human mind works, but I've read a little bit about it only through studying for the CFA programs. And I think there's like short-term memory, medium-term and long-term memory. You really don't have to internalize these concepts as something that you're gonna memorize for the long-term, unless you wanna re totally remember everything you've learned in the CFA program. That's not a bad thing to do. Share this video with anyone that you think it might benefit as well. And thank you for watching.